Hi guys, welcome to At Home with Bria. I'm Bria Godhart, and today I want to share with you a recipe that came from my childhood. It's one of my favorite coffee cakes, and I love to make it when I have coffee with a friend. I love to make it for my family. It's a great recipe for Mother's Day. It's a great recipe for brunches. It's called Blueberry Buckle, and it's a coffee cake that incorporates blueberries. Let's get started. Step one, make the batter. In your KitchenAid mixer, you're gonna add the batter ingredients. Now, if you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, you can stir this batter by hand. That's fine, you're just gonna be stirring for a while. I have a six quart, um, but a four and a half quart, a three and a half quart, a five quart, all of them will work for this recipe. I happen to love KitchenAid. I've had a KitchenAid for 24 years, I think. I've had various size KitchenAid mixers. At this point in my life, I have a six quart KitchenAid mixer, but that's because I have usually a lot of company. Obviously not with COVID-19, super sad. So the batter is a simple batter recipe made with flour, sugar, leveling agents, Leveling agents are things like salt, baking powder, baking soda. In this recipe, we just have some salt and baking powder, but those are things that change the level of how high something rises. Now, some people think that baking powder and baking soda are interchangeable. They are not. However, there are some little tricks that you can use if you are lacking in one or the other. For example, you may need to use more baking powder if a recipe calls for baking soda and add just a hint more salt. If a recipe calls for baking powder and you only have baking soda, then you're going to need to omit some of the salt in order for the flavor to balance. A third of a cup of oil, one egg. Here's a little tidbit for you. If you don't have milk, you can use a non-dairy substitute or you can use half and half and just water it down just a little bit or heavy whipping cream. The only ingredient that you don't wanna put into your batter to start with are your blueberries. But after all of the rest of the ingredients are in your mixer, go on and press stir and mix it for about 30 to 45 seconds. My batter is fully incorporated, so now it's time to go on and add my blueberries. A pro tip is, always use frozen blueberries. They help your batter to look prettier and not discolor. So we finished the batter and have put it off to the side. Now we're gonna make the crumb topping. We're gonna take our flour, sugar, and cinnamon. I use Saigon cinnamon. Combine that in a bowl and about a quarter of a cup of butter. So here's a little tip for you regarding butter. Because I often forget to lay my butter out, this has saved me many, many times. If you're like me and you have cold butter, grab a knife, slice it up, turn it on its side, slice it again so it's in little tiny cubes before you add it to your mixture. Another tip is, if you don't have a pastry blender, which I have, somewhere, but I couldn't find. <laughs> a fork works just fine to blend in all these ingredients. Now you're not looking to get this texture smooth, you're just looking for it to be pretty incorporated. I'll show you what it should look like. So this is what our mixture should look like. It should be crummy, crumbly, this is what we're looking for. We're not looking for an even texture. It should all look a little bit different. Some little bit larger chunks of butter and some smaller. So now we have our batter ready and our crumb topping ready. Here's another good tip. If you need to get more servings out of this, you can make this into muffins and it will cook faster. Otherwise, just take a nine by nine. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell for notifications so that you know when my next video is gonna come out. Now this is ready to go in my preheated oven at 400 degrees on the middle shelf. When you're looking at recipes, you always wanna start with the lowest amount of time and set timers. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this wonderful coffee cake with a great cup of coffee. We'll see you next week.